Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. Transfer of electron as I told is a electrovalent bond. So as I told that uh, the negative ion from a halogen like chlorine, fluorine, they form a negative ions. And the positive ions from the alkali like sodium, potassium, right? They because these guys easily lose electron and form a positive ion, and these guys halogens easily get electron to form a negative ions, and they form positive and negative ions, and these ions are held by electrostatic attraction. For example, I told here, sodium had uh, one electron, chlorine had seven. It gave one electron to chlorine. Sodium becomes Na plus, and chlorine now got. 8 electrons, one extra electron got a negative charge in this and then they are held by electrostatic attraction, correct? And these kind of bond form is called electrovalent bond. Another example is CaCl2, chlorine, uh, calcium has two electrons in the outermost shell, chlorine has seven, this chlorine also has seven. So this calcium easily gives two electron one to each of the chlorine. Calcium gets positive charge, two plus, and each of these chlorine gets a negative charge, and then they are held by electrostatic force of attraction. This kind of bond is called electrovalent bond, and Lewis' uh, approach is uh, able to explain this kind of bonds, right? Just example of sharing of electron. So again, this postulation was done in 1919 by abandoning the idea of cubical arrangement, which I explained. This was a, a theory he gave, but again, this uh, theory was redefined in 1919 by Langmuir, similar to what we have example of the teacher redefining the theories about the uh, student getting less marks. So this theory was redefined in 1990 by Langmuir and he told that the covalent bond is formed and how it is formed is for example this is chlorine to chlorine both has seven electrons nobody is willing to give electrons so they will share this electron. This chlorine assumes that it has six plus two eight electrons. This chlorine assumes it has six plus two eight electrons. Right? Because these electron is shared. So this is the theory given by, I mean this is the Lewis theory which explains the bonding. Correct? And please note in this case both the chlorine has got the noble gas configuration. And there are some rules for the covalent bond condition. It's pretty simple actually the same thing which we explained earlier also. So it says that each covalent bond is, I'll write the word covalent here. Each covalent bond is formed as a result of sharing of electron pair, correct? And each atom should contribute at least one electron to the shared pair. And these combinations, these all the sharing happens just to attain the noble gas configuration. I told energy is like a stress. These guys have more energy and they want to release the stress, release the energy to attain the stable gas configuration. Everybody in life wants to be stable. So that's why the same thing with this uh, atoms also, they want to be stable. And that's why they form this uh, bonding. That is what this uh, theory says. And if you see, for example, water, if you see the way it works, is, I'll explain the water to you. Water looks like this. So hydrogen so oxygen has six electrons, hydrogen has one electrons. The way it works is this atom is shared now, I'll put star here. So this particular uh, atoms, two particular, two electrons are shared between hydrogen and oxygen. So hydrogen thinks it has eight electrons. Similarly, this guy thinks it has eight electron and oxygen thinks it has, sorry, two electrons. See, it is not always 8, for hydrogen it is 2 and for boron it is 6 to achieve the stable gas configuration. So hydrogen gets 2, it is happy because 
that's what makes hydrogen stable oxygen gets eight now six it had and two it got shared from hydrogen oxygen also feels happy it got eight and that's how the same thing is represented here if you see if i assume like this the one with the dot is something which is coming from hydrogen two hydrogens this cross is coming from hydrogen and the one with the dots is coming from oxygen molecules so oxygen had six six dots and two cross two from hydrogen similarly if you see ccl4 so i'll write put all the one will coming from carbon as cross so if you see carbon had four electrons the one with the cross chlorine had this chlorine had seven the one with the dots this also had seven all seven now this chlorine shared this electron with this carbon so it got eight similarly this chlorine also shared it got eight this chlorine also shared it got eight all these chlorine got eight uh, electrons the outermost shell and they are stable and this carbon also it got eight electrons how huh? because these four electron pairs are actually shared correct because in this pair if you see one electron comes from carbon one from chlorine in this also if you see one comes from carbon one from chlorine here also one from chlorine one from carbon here also one from carbon one from chlorine and that's what this th thing is right so each covalent bond is result of sharing of electron pairs and in this one pair one electron comes from uh, i mean each atom contributes one electron to a pair so it's not that uh, both the atoms come from this carbon so one comes from carbon one from chlorine here also if you see one comes from oxygen one comes from hydrogen one from hydrogen one from oxygen these are the shared pair right lewis approach also was able to explain double single double and triple bond it was able to explain this uh, double single and triple bond it says that when two atoms share one electron pair one electron pair they form a single bond when they share two electron pairs they form double bond and when they share three electron pairs they form triple bond so if you see in this case i'll put cross for the atoms from uh, electron from hydrogen and dot from the atom from oxygen if you see in this case only one electron pair is shared between oxygen and hydrogen right so this is the single bond so in this case also if you see carbon has four electrons hydrogen has this let's, let's put star here four. so in this case also if you see there is one electron pair shared right in this electron pair one electron each from carbon and hydrogen so there is a single bond right only one electron pair so there is a single bond for ccl4 also if you see if you, this is a this is the four electrons from carbon and this is shared with this chlorine right this is a single uh, electron pair shared if you see this is a single electron pair so it's a single bond in case of ammonia also if you see nitrogen has five electrons so three here and two we can already see and it shares electrons single electron pair with hydrogen so you see this is a single sharing single pair share so it's a single bond right here if you see ethene so if you see carbon has how many four so one two three four electrons here also four electrons correct so if you see here between carbon and carbon bond how much they are sharing they are sharing two electron pair between carbon and carbon bond you see there are two electron pairs getting shared i'll just show you this is how it is shared so this is how it is shared so this carbon assumes it has got four you see see it gets two electron from hydrogen actually right so this carbon if you see it gets eight complete how four it had fifth it got from its hydrogen six it got from its hydrogen and two it got from this carbon so there two electron pair shared so it is double bond 
correct then also if you see there are two electron pairs are shared see oxygen had six six now octo for oxygen to get complete uh, octet what oxygen will do is it will take two electrons from carbon right so two electron pair is shared between carbon and oxygen so it's a double bond Similarly, if you see for triple bond, three electron pairs here because if you see nitrogen had five electrons. This guy also five electrons. So for it to complete octet, it need eight electrons. So what it will do? It will share three electrons. So if you see these these three electrons are shared. Since three electron pairs are shared, it is triple bond. Correct. For example, in this case, ethane also if you see carbon. It shared three electrons with this carbon, three electrons pair. So it is a triple bond. Correct. So it's one electron pair in this here. It's a single bond. If it shared two electron pair, it's a double bond. If it shared three electron pair, it is a triple bond. So Lewis' approach was um, able to explain the bonding. Why it is double bond, single bond, or triple bond? Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.